What's up, sneaky YouTube? It's your boy FB Kicks and Gear, and I am back with another legit checking guide. And this time, it's not something you know super flashy or extravagant, but I really, really, really want to hammer a point home. There are a lot of people that worry about fakes when it comes to the hype stuff, your Travis Scotts, your unions, your uh, Ama Maniers, that kind of stuff. But I would argue that those type of shoes that have special materials and special features and things like that are probably the easiest of the sneakers out there to legit check. The ones that you really have to worry about is the not special stuff, right? Your standard GR Jordan 1 that has a regular color blocking, has regular materials, nothing fancy, uh, no suede or whatever. Those are the shoes that I believe are the ones that require the most attention. And I'm gonna drive this point home right now with the Jordan 1 Taxi or Yellow Toe or whatever you want to call it. These came out last year and probably two, three years ago, these would have been a absolute home run. But what I really want to do is I want to show you guys the breakdown of how close they actually are and how these, the reps of your regular GR shoes are probably the ones that you should be most concerned about. So with all that said, let's get into the video and we'll discuss some of the similarities, the differences and all that good stuff. Now on my left, we have the authentic pair of the Jordan 1 Taxis or yellow toe or whatever you want to call them. This pair is directly from Nike itself. I think I have bought and sold maybe three or four pairs of these so far because every single time I get one I ended up trading it away in a bigger trade to get a more hype shoe for a review on this channel so uh, but they restock thankfully and I was able to get my own pair the pair on my right is a replica pair and this is the most updated batch this is what you're gonna see on the streets um, this is what sellers are gonna say is the best of the best, the one, one to one, all that good stuff. So you know we're dealing with the best version and I will make sure that I, I'll link you guys to the Instagram account where you'll be able to see detailed pictures of everything from the side panels to the back to the Wings logo and all that good stuff. You'll be able to see all the details for this shoe on that Instagram account and I'll have that pop up on the screen. But you know, we're dealing with the authentic pair and the best in the replica industry. So with all that said, let's get into the breakdown and we'll go from there. Before we get into the shoes, I just wanna do a quick comparison of the boxes. Top is authentic, bottom is rep. You can see that there's definitely a tone difference in the color. The box on the authentic one on the top is a little bit lighter than the box on the right. This is more of a deeper taxi yellow. Size tag no longer has the price on the side on, on American pairs for newer newer stuff. The rep does, so you can see that is a difference right there. Uh, more or less though, the tags actually look relatively the same, except for you can actually see the RFID tag on the authentic pair below the surface of the tag. You can see that outline right there. And if you look on the rep, No, F, no RFID tag. And I'll tell you what, there are definitely reps out there that do come with an RFID tag. Now, I don't know if it scans or not, but I do know for a fact that you can see it underneath the label. So that's one thing to look at. Uh, other than that, there are just very, 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 very small differences in tone, or I should say very small differences in font of the lettering and the numbers. And I'll leave a close up for you guys to do a snapshot and look. With all that said, let's get rid of the boxes and let's talk about the shoes. And here we have it. We have the real verse fake side by side. I want you guys to tell me if you guys can tell any alarming differences that are that are right there. What do you guys see and tell me what what you're feeling in terms of accuracy? Cuz I'm going to tell you Right off the bat, I'm gonna have to be very, 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 very careful that I keep these shoes separate. Um, 
you guys know that I go into the nitty gritty, the detail, and usually there's things here and there that I can pick up, but the only thing that is really allowing me to know without a shadow of a doubt which one is authentic is the fact that these come with laces. And the one thing that a lot of people, including myself, complained about on the retail release is that these only came with black laces. But as you can see, the rep not only comes with the black laces laced in, it comes with some yellow laces and it comes with some sail laces as well, which is actually pretty fantastic. Definitely something that Nike should have done, but they didn't. But right off the bat, those are the only things that I can just stare right in front of me. They're the only things that I can really call out. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend some time doing a quick 360 of the rep shoe and you guys can really digest what we're looking at and we'll go from there. And please remember guys, there will be an Instagram account with all the detailed pictures of this shoe so you can go and do even further research. So you guys buy what you actually wanna buy. But that's a th quick 360 of the shoe. And first thing that I'll do just to get it over with right off the bat is I'll do the squeeze test on the sole because I feel like if that is something that is different, it might be able to, to show up. So here's the authentic pair, do a squeeze test. You're not seeing any real flexing on the sole right there. Reps tend to have soft soles, not all reps, but uh, there are definitely batches of reps out there that have soft soles. And if you see when you squeeze the sole and it caves in, you know you're dealing with a rep. So let's look at the rep right here. So when I squeeze it, it is not buckling. Let's try the other shoe. Absolutely the same. It's It's got a little bit of flex just like the authentic pair, but it does not completely fold in. So we can eliminate that right off the bat. The first thing that we can really take a look at here, and just so that I can make sure I don't mix things up, I will use these, these pairs right here. So I always have a, uh, the lace bags reference. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the colors. Now, when I look at the taxi color on these shoes, I am definitely not seeing any large major differences here. Um, there is a very, very slight tonal difference. And if I really had to kind of put a description to it, taxi yellow on the rep, I should say, is a little bit lighter and a little bit more yellow than the taxi color on the authentic pair, which is has a bit more orange to it. And I really hope that this comes through on camera. And it's really you really got to look at it to for it to be you know stand out, but it's just a bit more vibrant, and that tells you that it's a little bit lighter than on the authentic pair. But when you touch the materials, this is the same exact leather. They feel like they're the same exact thickness. They feel exactly the same. And you can see the same tumbling, the same texturing. They actually use the same type of leather. When you're looking at the side panels here, very, very, very similar. And I feel like you can kind of see more of the differences in the yellows there. Not a huge difference, but it's definitely there. But when we look at the side panels here, which are sale, you can see that there's a very, very slight difference in the color as well. Uh, I would say that there's just like a tad bit more sale on the white leather on the authentic pair. Or I should say it's a little bit more off-white than the rep, with the rep being a little bit brighter of a white. Just very, very, very slightly. But that, those are the kind of things that you got to look at when you have a shoe this close. And you can see that it's the same grade of leather, the same kind of tumbling, looks exactly the same. It feels exactly the same. The swooshes are, uh, there's a slight texture difference between the swoosh on the authentic pair and on the rep. It's a little bit smoother on the rep, a little bit more pebbled on the right, but uh, I can't even tell you, I can't even tell you whether or not that's something that can vary on authentic pairs. If I pick up the other shoe uh, on the authentic pair, uh, they all seem to be pretty consistent. They all got the texturing. And then from there we can go and we can look at the Wings logos. Uh, I'm telling you, you're gonna have to look at these with a microscope because I can't tell you, I can't really t point out a difference. Um, maybe slight positioning, because if you look at the overall size of the authentic pair over here, the ankle bit, is longer on the authentic pair 
than it is on the rep. So positioning varies just a little bit, but that is such a small difference. Such a very, very small difference. And overall construction looks exactly the same as well. Uh, I would even say that the Wings logo on the rep is a little bit cleaner than on the authentic pair. And let's take a look at the back. I think you can see slight difference in the, in terms of color for the authentic pair versus the rep. Just a slight difference in color and a slight difference in shape. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm very used to seeing this kind of thick, bulky kind of shape on the rep pairs and it's a lot slimmer on the authentic pairs, but both have their hourglass. Both is, I would tend to see on authentic pairs. So uh, shape is pretty on point. You know, there's one thing that I do notice on rep pairs a lot that uh, I don't think people really talk about much when it comes to Jordan ones. Somehow when you look at the authentic pairs, most Jordan ones, they have a smooth transition to how they stitch the liner into the actual angle part. And you can see that here, smooth transition. But when reps do it, I don't know why they it happens like that, but there always tends to be like a point to where in, to in the middle of the angle. And you can see it here on the rep too. Um, this is something that is pretty common on reps when it comes to Jordan ones disappears when you kind of fold it out like this, but usually it always comes to a point somewhere and you can see it here and you can see it there. Uh, usually a pretty good tip when you're talking about legit checking, but it's not really something that you can notice on foot or if the shoe has the collar expressed really wide like that. Uh, and other than that, the only real like substantial difference that I can really point out is the fact that there's a slight different, the, the inside liners are slightly different. There's a, the weave pattern is a slight bit more textured and apparent on the rep than it is on the authentic pair. And that weave pattern actually lends to light hitting them differently and coming off as slightly different colored blacks, as you can see. But other than that, man, you know, people are stressing about Travis Scott ones and they're stressing about um, off white sneakers and all of that. But this is what scares me. This is super dangerous from the shape. Look at those toe boxes from the materials, the closeness in color. This is dangerous. This is a true one-to-one, -one, I feel like. This, I feel like I could find this at a Nike store and be none the wiser. This would absolutely fool me. They smell exactly the same. They feel exactly the same. And if I had a, if I had batteries in my black light uh, that were strong enough to really pick up on that sole, which is probably the only real place you would find any differences, um, I would do that. But there are plenty of other reviews online where you could actually find that, but uh, I'm going to tell you guys that outside of taking out the insole and uploading these to legit app, I don't think you're actually going to find a difference, uh, any meaningful difference. These are super hard to legit check. I personally wouldn't take on the job of legit checking these because I don't think I'd be able to call them out. And you guys know, I get into the details. I look for those things like on the back of the tongue tag and everything like that. And let's bring that up. You guys tell me what the difference is. Other than a slight difference in color, maybe they look exactly the same. So with all that said, guys, um, I you guys know I don't believe a one-to-one -one rep exists. I don't, I don't believe that exists. I'm sure once you scan these and put them on uh, check check or something like that, they will come back as a replica. Uh, but for the person that is just casually buying sneakers or is trying to do a local deal, these will fool people and this is dangerous. So uh, stay informed guys as best as you can. I wish I could give you more differences, but um, outside of the things that you would actually have to, you know, do like scan the tag and look at the insole stitching and things like that, I don't think any 
casual person is legit checking these with any amount of certainty. So uh, with all that said, guys, like I said, if you guys want to see more of these fantastic, these fantastic imposters, I will make sure that you see as many pictures as you need, super detailed, and we'll go from there. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.